Joey! No! Let's see, where are we? And what are we doing? Pigeons. Box of stuff. Uh, I think that's like a beach ball, but it looks more like a mace. I'm not sure. Okay, hello everybody, and welcome back to Hive Swap. I am the I am villainous, and I will be your host this evening. Morning. Whatever time it is, actually. So, let's just get into this. Okay, we got a flashing walkie-talkie. Tactical error. Consolidate consolidated all members uh, marbles here in Treehouse to prevent attic key from falling into wrong hands. Over. Additionally, forgot about doing that. Over. No cash for concern putting top agent on it. Over. Wait. Who? Did you get in touch with one of your friends or... Oh god. You mean one of your pigeons, don't you? Over... Over and out. Yeah, okay. Um, when the heat is on from the government and you need to send an encrypted message while staying off the grid, you entrust it to one of your trained carrier pigeons, the Lone Gunbirds. You survey the troops. There's Langley, Byers, and of course, Frohike. He's your favorite. Dear sweet Frohike, how you adore him. You cherish the wind he flaps. You got a nice little collection of pigeons, but where did you get the pigeons? Did you capture them or did you buy them? Are they like shipped or... Oh, that's a nice little bing bag. Let me see. A standard camping lantern. Your uses of it are hardly standard, you thinks. More like outstandard, i.e. great. Okay. I mean, it's really pretty nicely illustrated. Let me see. Is there anything else? And we'll click on this. Ooh, okay, so this is probably where the weapon is, so... You're probably the only kid in school that owns one of these babies. One of these babies. What if those kids get stranded in the middle of the ocean? Then the joke's on them until they starve and die. The chamber is empty because you observe proper flare gun safety protocols. But maybe you should load it because you also observed some scary stuff this evening. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Let's see. Uh, would I hide flares? You dropped your favorite pair of binoculars when you were uh, retreating from the big serpent. These are actually your second auxiliary binoculars. You call uh, binoculars your oxnox for short. For short. Ooh, what's over here? <laughs> wow. This thing. Ta this thing. Talk about an enigma. One day you'll figure out what it does and why certain shady characters want to get their hands on it so badly. You have some theories, of course. Your copious notes on some disreputable activities carried out by members of what you can only describe as some sort of cult. You've been surreptitiously gathering intelligence on them for a good while. You've detailed some of this stuff on your sites. But the really juicy stuff has to stay off the grid. A term you have just coined yourself just now. Nice. Okay, so he's a little paranoid, but maybe that paranoia has paid off somewhat. Though, uh... Fascinating. Yeah, yeah, okay. Your careful records of the activity of the mysterious figures you often see prowling around the woods. Joey didn't fight, but the sudden influx of monsters may have changed her stance. Yeah, probably. I mean, it would change my stance a little bit. Okay, what's over here? Ooh, you can open! Okay, we're just gonna... Nice! Found the flares! We are now fully prepared and ready for a, uh... Ah. Uh, uh, 
I had something on mind and then I just like flew out of my head. <laughs> some some host I am. Um, combined with your flare, you retrieve the cache of flares you are keeping in your metal chest. Combined with your flare gun, they're a tactical treasure. I mean, that seems a little self-explanatory. Breath held, hand steady. You carefully load the flares into the flare gun. There's no going back now. The genie is out of the bottle. Lead green. Okay, so we know that this is the thing with the marbles, I'm pretty sure. So I think it's saying red and green marbles. But where are marbles? Only a few of these are actually liquid. And unfortunately, those are also the ones whose contents you don't precisely exactly 100% remember with total certainty. You're not saying some of them are urine, but you're not saying none of them are urine. That's, that's disgusting. Why would you do that? There's no reason for that if you've got a toilet. You keep smashing geodes in case they're secretly alien eggs. And if one is, well, you'll already have the hammer in your hand, won't you? And practical treasures. Well, not practical treasures, but like just treasures. I think there was actually a shot of this in like the original preview. Ooh, you can click that. Nice. Ooh. Cat's eyes. The stuff is all treasure, plain and simple. You move the cat's eye marble to the pouch. Oh, well, I didn't mean to. You do a quick visual inspection and confirm that the, the pouch contains one cat's eye. You move another cat's eye marble to the pouch. Wait, were those the right marble colors? On second thought, doesn't feel right. Didn't you have a secret diagram prominently displayed somewhere to help you out with this exact problem? Yep, I didn't mean to. Anyway, I didn't know if you could actually click the other marbles, so. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. So we're sending the pigeons out, so... Okay, are you ready? Please don't fail me. Don't fail me. Aw, he's so cute. Actually, it reminds me of... <gasps> no! No! <laughs> well, that wasn't very good. I'm sad. Alright, okay. You take another pouch from the drawer and load it with another red marble and another green marble. Fro <laughs> Froheit, beautiful, sweet, precious, dear, darling, and ultimately fragile Froheit. You are too good for this rotten, dark nightmare of a world. May the wings of chance and dream bear thee to thy rest on the white, sandy shores of paradise. Froheit, oh no! <laughs> That was so sad! <laughs> oh. Well, that's a shady looking bird. Definitely a very shady looking bird. Wow. Just abandoned everybody in, in our time of need. What a champion. I guess you can't blame him for looking out for number one, but still. Could have used his help. Oh wait, I guess he could- does he say something about that other one, the shady looking one? Okay, off you go, chubby. Third time's a charm? Yay! Yes! We made it! High fives, everybody. High fives. You know, we, we've done it. We've done it. Success! Season! Crow bears, my boy. So so brave, so true, so great. Are you actually just point blank losing your mind now? It would maybe be kind of a relief after years of buildup, but you could have picked a better night for it. Mission accomplished. Bias, champion of champions, waiting for you in the kitchen. Over. Why? Over. Huh? Over. Oh. Bayash has marbles required to acquire key. Over. Alright. 
guess that sort of makes sense. New, de new development. Fire's being menaced. Please hurry. Over. What? Okay, uh, I'm on it. Hurry, please, Joey. He's all I have left. Over and out. Yes. Not only did your paw replace this deer's eyes with creepy glass orbs, he installed some kind of antler-activated laser system in its head. Nice. It's an Albrige, a folk art monster from Oaxaca, Mexico. Carved out of uh, the wood of the opal, uh, copal tree, this little thing used to creep you out really bad until your babysitter suggested you learn more about it. You found out they're based on monsters an artist saw in his dreams, and ever since then, he seemed a lot more friendly. This is uh, Horus, you think. You're not up to your on your Egyptology. Ew. Oh, wow! I didn't... This is so cool. I love Egyptology, but I don't know much about it, so... You've never been entirely clear on what's going on in this tapestry. But it certainly looks intense. Just look at that fire-breathing serpent beast on the bottom, and that red-eyed figure on the throne. What's their deal? I don't know. Maybe some allusion to trolls? You spin the globe and watch the white beams rake across the surface of the globe. Nothing. You feel like there's something missing. This is exactly the kind of thing you wish wasn't in your house. Why couldn't your paw just leave their regular eyes in? And also, more importantly, leave their head attached to their body? You'd like to put something in those sockets, but what? And also, wait, why do you want to do that so much? That's weird. Well, maybe so they don't look like empty skulls of their former self? I don't know, skeletons? Something, 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 metaphorical, something, something, jargon? Do, do, okay, time to... Okay, time to fight. Yes. The mighty Joey. Off at it again. Okay. Pizza, not pepper, whatever that what is. What is this? I don't see what that is. Dang it. Spice to meet you. So it's pepper spray of some kind? Oh no, the poor thing. I mean, that's what it gets for eating throw height, but still. Can I go here? Because you do not have any flight capability, the pigeon remains out of reach. Maybe it needs enticing. What do pigeons like? Uh, no? Well, it's already pretty dang open due to it being broken. Okay. There's nothing to click over here besides that, and that gives us the exposition of... Oh, there we go! A cracker! da 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 we found a cracker! Okay. Hey, buddy! Okay. Hey, buddy! Yes! Success! This little fellow, Byers, you think? Yes, you're pretty sure this is Byers. Gobbles down the stale cracker as you tuck him into your pocket. He's got a little parcel around his neck which you're fine with letting him hold on to until you actually figure out what you're supposed to do with it. Nice. Okay. Let's see. That has the marbles, so I'm pretty sure it goes over here. You carefully remove the marble pouch from around his neck, and believe it or not, shove the marbles into the empty eye sockets. You discard the pouch. What an evening it's been. 
Oh, there we go. Nice. Let's just take it. Your pa's love of glows knows no bounds, but you don't recognize any of the contents in this one. Continents. You'd have a better idea if what you were looking at if you could read these scribbly labels. All you can make sense of is the X mark. Could it indicate treasure? Interesting. So it's another planet. Equip armor. It's a little out of season. Aw. But it's armor. Who doesn't like armor? Oh dear. Uh, yep! That doesn't seem like a... Wow! There's just so many of you guys this time. Oh. A black hole. Uh... Oh, hey. That was rude. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I can switch between them now? Grand fantastic, I guess. Joy took a brutal hit. She's down for the count. You gotta find some way to distract those monsters and chill so she can get back on her feet. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's save the sister. Save the sister. Come on, come on, save the sister. Be a hero, Jude. No vacancy. Oh, come on. Oh, so they really like flashing lights. So it's freaking... Okay. Nice! What a team. Willing to help each other when the chips are down. Delighted to see you. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, nice job! Butterfingers! Oh, come on, now who's gonna save the sister? And your house is gonna light on fire, I'm sure. Yeah, I'd be distressed about that too, unless you're just, like, freaking dancing. Okay. Let's not stick around to find out. Gosh, you hope Joey's okay. Now you wonder how she's doing right now. Oh. Oh! Uh. I got a game over? Okay. Well. Oh. Okay. Wow. What? Okay, so they are malicious freaks of nature. Okay, good to know. Uh, hold on. Joey, come in. Please report status. Joey, hello, it's Jude. Joey, are you okay? Joey, please, over. Yes, I'm safe. I'm in the attic. Just barely made it. Phew! Over. Locked in, actually. I dropped the key. 
Safe in the attic and rest of house. Key can be retrieved later. Over. I think you were right. The way they smashed through the living room window and the front door. If I'd stayed in my room, I'd be a goner. Separate us with separated us with that vanguard. Destabilized power. Probe defenses. Finally attempted entry through multiple points of ingress. Basic siege tactics. Over. I didn't realize you actually knew this stuff. I kind of just thought you were like, you like, I kind of just thought you just liked pretending to be a spy or whatever. Well, take us compliment. Over. Anyway, thanks. So I'll just hold up here for now, I guess. Are you safe in the treehouse? Should you try calling your friends or something? Didn't want to risk their involvement. Always a gamble, engaging soldiers of fortune. But maybe time. Remain secure in location and ignore object under curtain. Over. Well, obviously I'm not going to ignore it. Joey, please. Over. What? It's a big mysterious thing under a beguiling fluttery curtain. I have to at least peek at it. What is it anyway? Dead inf insufficient to determine. Over. Well, I'll let you know when I find out. Joey, don't touch your seat. Over. Be there. Go. Portal. It's out. Bad. I. Over. Jude, can you repeat that? Lots of static. Joey, please. Can't. Lose. You. Please. Please. Do. Go. Don't go near portal over. Did you just say portal? Dot dot dot. Another victim of Jude's overzealous crowbarring. No doubt any chance he gets to he gets to get to pry to go prying and jimmying, the kid just uh, goes nutso. What is this? No, this really isn't the kind of mystery. The boring kind, where you have to frequently refer to your rigorously maintained collection of shipping invoices in order to make any progress. You hate those. Yay? There are many things to click, but I just kind of want to progress. You can't avoid noticing the drape rustling around. Although you really wish you could better see what's under the, under there now. Though, before it gets a drop on you. Okay, let's take a look at this mysterious object. Look at it fluttering. Doesn't it just call to you? Call to your very being? Like some kind of... I actually saw a preview for this, so I know exactly how to get through here. But he's probably going to try and eat them, right? That's what he'll do, because he's a simple little bird brain. Who, who, okay. So he's wearing it, wearing a, a the pog, little, like a, like a little hat. Touche, buyers. That's pretty darn cute. What? what? No! Byers, it's not a snack! Byers picks the treat up with his beak and, after a moment, spits it back out into your hand. Evidently, he doesn't care for the taste. Either that, or this bird is literally too dumb to know what food is. Byers is a cutie, but you're not quite sure you want to entrust your shiny, treasured memory of your dearly departed mother to an animal with a fascination for, 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 uh, for shiny objects and a proclivity for flying out of reach. Okay. Yes, definitely. Yes, jeez, wow, yes, you, okay, yeah. You want to do that, just, yeah, the keyhole. Do it, do it. You feel like you have to. Um, okay. What was that about, exactly? Nyam nyam. Scoop. And goop.
I, I shouldn't be humming. Excuse me. This bodes well for everybody. And I think these things are actually rel uh, reference to cherubs. Okay, well, actually, that is the end of this episode. And I will see you, well... Okay, that's the end of this episode. Um, thank you for joining me, and I will see you next time for another incredible adventure in this new world. I actually know exactly what this world is, but... You guys don't. So I will be your guide, your illustrious guide. Anyway, see you next time. Bye!